Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking animated text effect using Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is I've just opened up a Illustrator document and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the text tool and I'm just going to write my word on the page. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm using a running writing font. So I've gone and installed InDesign Signature. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to enlarge that so I can make it a little bit bigger because I'm gonna actually trace this, uh, this font. So now I'm just gonna, you know, bring out the spacing a little bit, just like that. And you wanna kinda do that so the letters, they don't touch next to each other because we're going to create a single path stroke and then we're gonna take that to After Effects and then we're gonna add a thick stroke to it. So anyway, so once we've got that layer, I'm just gonna create a new layer. So I'm gonna lock that layer. I'm gonna come over here and grab my pencil tool and then I'm gonna just start tracing around the word. So once you're happy with your final text, then we need to take this to After Effects. So I've just opened up After Effects and I'm just going to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080 pixels. So now that we have our new composition in After Effects, the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a new solid. So what we are going to do is we're just gonna come over here and I'm just going to create a new solid and I'm just gonna call it whatever. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my effects and presets panel and drag thick stroke to my solid once i've got that then i need to paste my path from illustrator into here so i'm just going to press Control v to paste it and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to double click on one of these squares and i'm just going to make this slightly bigger so now once we've done that what we need to do is we need to come over here inside a thick stroke and change the mask to mask one and you can see what has happened there these two colors are now being represented inside of this path so that's looking pretty cool so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase the width end and this will make this stroke this single path stroke a little bit thicker so you can put it to however big you want or you can increase the width multiplier but uh you don't want to go too crazy so maybe we'll just increase these to about 60 each one you don't want the you still want to see the middles of the letters as well so now what we are going to do is I'm just going to change the style to smooth and I'm just going to change the gradient to three colors. Now we need some colors for this. So I've already gone to color hunt and I've downloaded a color palette. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that to my screen and then I'm going to just sit it here to use it for our colors. So I'm going to go back to our thick stroke, the effects. So the first color is going to be that blue. The second color is going to be that color there and the third color that pink. So now I've got my uh, colors in there and that's looking pretty good. If you want to change the colors, you can press shift colors, but I'm happy with that as it is. The next thing that we need to do is we need to start animating. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move forward in time, let's say around two seconds. And then I'm going to hit the stopwatch for the end of the trim path. Then I'm going to go back to the start and then I'm just going to press zero in there. So now if I press U on my keyboard, the keyframes are there. So now if I play that through, you can see we have that animation, but we can make that animation look a little bit better. When these L's get to the top of their uh, peaks, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another keyframe. So I'm going to add a keyframe maybe there as well. And then if you want to add a keyframe for the E or maybe a keyframe for the top of this H, you can also add one if you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all those keyframes, go to uh, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then go to the graph editor, make sure that you are in the speed graph editor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring these two points closer together. So for each of these keyframes. So now we're going to add some acceleration and deceleration to this animation. So you don't have to go too crazy and that's looking all right. Now we can test it. So now if we preview that back, you can see that now we've got like a, you know, really cool animation that is a little bit more unique than what it was uh, before. 
but we can make that even better so what I'm going to do firstly is I'm just going to hold alt and bring the whole duration of that animation a little bit shorter and then I'm just going to loop it at around about two seconds so now if I preview that all right we've got our nice little running writing you know it goes a bit faster slower etc so now that we've got our animation now we can move to adding more details to this animation so the first thing that we can do is we can duplicate this layer and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename this layer and I'm going to call it tip and now in this layer what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it to a solid color and I'm just going to change it to white something noticeable now you can see the whole color changes that's fine we just we just want a small section over here so as the animation goes through you can see a little bit of white on there as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my uh, stopwatch icon for the start of the trim path and I'm just going to set it to let's say 97 right at the end and then I'm going to work backwards and then I'm going to set it to zero and so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press U on my keyboard and now it will pull up all of the keyframes and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through and I'm just going to go to that first keyframe and I'm just going to move the start until it's a little bit ahead of where it needs to be so now when I preview that back it starts on something that's white and then you see the white here which then translates into the color so it's still white there still white there it's getting quite short it's still white there and then once we get to the end what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move forward let's say another two more frames and then I'm just going to increase it until it's gone so now if we preview that back now we've got that extra cool effect that goes along with the text so now we're up to the final stage so what we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to pre-compose both these layers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go to pre-compose and we'll just call it pre-comp1 we need to set a new solid for the background and this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on my color hunt over there and then I'll go back to new solid and I'm just going to make the background purple and then when I press OK now I've got that purple background I don't really need color hunt anymore I'm just going to drag it underneath my pre-comp and so I'm just going to put that roughly in the middle and then what I'm going to do, the final effect is I'm going to add some drop shadow to that. So I'm just going to come over here, drag some drop shadow to that and we'll just add, we'll bring it up to about, let's say maybe 80% and we'll increase the distance to maybe something like 15 or if you want to do it a little bit more, maybe something like 30. And if it's too uh, dark, you can just lower the opacity, something like that. And then yeah when you preview that now you've got a nice drop shadow with a nice you know running animation and it's got all nice colors and it looks pretty cool so anyways that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching i hope you learned something and i will see you guys next time